The head of the Central Bank of Niger, CBN Monetary Policy Committee meeting on Monday, Olushe Olushoga, CEO, Party and Partners Group says, the outcome of the meeting does not have an impact on citizens and therefore should be looked away from as a means of measuring inflation in the country saying that if the ordinary man's standard of living does not change, it's of no implication on the economy. He spoke in Lagos at the 10th anniversary of the group. He said the country should focus on consuming locally made products to bring down the cost of living. They may decide to raise rates, but I think it's, it's, the impact is going to be marginal on the markets because that's not actually what's really driving inflation. I think that in Nigeria, we should stop trying to use knowledge from the West to operate fully in Nigeria. I think Nigeria is a very peculiar country. The man on the street does not really understand interest rate went up or down. What he cares about, because even if he wanted to borrow money in the bank today, he probably cannot get those, those rates that you are seeing. What actually affects him is, is cost of living. And I think that as long as cost of living continues to go up, inflation will continue to go up. For me, I think that we should stop holding on to the NPC as though they are, they are gods or they are going to change anything. What's actually going to change our lives is actually figuring out how we consume locally and bring down the cost of living. That's, that's basically how I see it. So I think that they might raise rates, but for me, it's, uh, it's irrelevant. And on the shortage of grains due to ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, Lucia says food security is a big problem in Nigeria and in the world and says the PPL will provide fertilizers to farmers to improve farm products. What we actually use in the world today comes from Ukraine. And... Even if the war stopped tomorrow, right, it's going to take a while before you have people who are actually able to seal the land to ensure that the land is actually good enough for the crops. And so what that's going to create is scarcity, scarcity of grains. And when you have scarcity of grains, the cost of fertilizer is actually going to sky skyrocket to the roof. And guess what's going to happen to food? Food is going to get a lot more expensive. So for us, we need to take that initiative to say, look, food security for us is actually the biggest problem not just for the for Nigeria, but for the world at large. And Nigeria as a country, we need to take focus. We need to do our, play our own part in ensuring that we alleviate, even though we know that we cannot do it alone. We alleviate and try and work with different partners to see how we can reduce that impact on Nigeria. We've seen the um, the different schemes that the central bank has tried to come up with, and there are different companies that are out there that basically help the farmers source for things like fertilizer. And those fertilizers, so basically we buy the fertilizer to help improve their crops. And so when the crops are then done, are, um, are harvested, they're stored in a warehouse. And so we can do trades in warehouse receipts. So basically we're helping them to actually fund the fertilizers. And then when the products are out, when they're then sold, we get our money back. That's us doing a social good for Nigeria and for the world at large. Businesses generally are facing a lot of challenges. It's a, it's a tough time at the moment. And it's not just peculiar to Nigeria, it's a global issue. I mean, coming out of the pandemic as well as the, the looming recession, I think that it's a tough environment. However, there's still opportunities for businesses. It's just seeking them out and taking them quickly. There are so many parties to the whole success story. So when we talk about success, therefore, and celebrating success, we're not just celebrating ourselves, we're celebrating all those who have contributed in one way or the other to our success. I think the first thing, of course, is we have a clear vision, of course, and you have a plan, and you just follow your plan diligently. So more than anything, is focus, you do it, do it well, and give it time. Nothing, nothing good comes easy, it doesn't come fast. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.